the biggest, uh, the biggest thing to start with on that front is uh, keyword research. So basically you're trying to understand, okay, here are all these people, uh, what are they searching for? How do they phrase those queries? What words do they actually type in to that box in Google or say into their phone uh, that, that results in the query uh, being returned with that, that, that set of search engine results, the, the SERPs as we call them in SEO. And until and unless you do that keyword research, I think it's really hard to understand what are people actually looking for. And I, I recommend two things. So not just looking at the specific, you know, um, hey, this person looked for, uh, I, I don't know, for example, let's say that I'm looking for a new yoga studio. So I'm gonna type that into Google and Google's gonna return, you know, a, a set of yoga studio results. And if I scroll to the bottom of that Google search result page, or, you know, if I'm on my mobile device and I, I scroll to the bottom there, you can see related searches, right? And those are things like yoga studio app, yoga studios, Seattle, because I'm in Seattle, uh, yoga studios for Mac, yoga studio app subscription. So I, I'm getting a sense of what else people are looking for after they search for this. Um, and obviously, some of that has to do with location, some of it has to do with this particular mobile app, uh, some of it has to do with the types of yoga. So, you know, uh, yoga studio vinyasa or yoga studio, uh, all these other types of things. When you can get into the heads of people who have performed that query and understand, oh, okay, they want to know location, they want to know type, uh, type of studio, they want to know instructor, they want to know times, uh, they want to know schedule, they want to know cost. So providing a page that's just about our yoga studio is probably not nearly as valuable as if I had a page that was, here are all the yoga studios and times and schedules and reviews, right? truly getting into someone's head and saying, gosh, what do they want when they're looking for this? And so keyword research is huge with that. The next thing is I really encourage people to spend some time with their actual audience, right? So when, when I was doing you know, uh, uh, content, I would spend a bunch of time talking to marketers about what they were looking for in terms of SEO. Oh, what, what do you, what do you want to know about? This? Well, you know, I'm really curious how Google treats this. I'm really curious about whether this ranking factor matters more than this one. I'm really curious about what about this news around, uh, you know, uh, Facebook's privacy issues. Does that have any impact on this? Uh, right. So, so you get a sense for what people are looking for from having those conversations. I think without that as part of your process, you miss out. So if you can talk to even five people who have gone to a yoga class recently or are looking for a yoga class or have moved and are looking for a new one, that's, that's a really powerful thing to do. And the next step is actually crafting that content. So you're gonna make an outline, you're gonna say, I wanna hit all the points that my research revealed were important. And then from there, you're gonna need an answer to the question, how am I going to be uniquely valuable from everything else that's in the search results right now? So if you go to that Google page and you're scrolling down, I want you to visit all of those individual links and see what they have. See what they don't have. Where are the gaps? What are they missing? And now how are you going to be uniquely more valuable than anything that's on any of those pages? Right, and so now you've, now you've created your unique value proposition for your content. And finally, last but definitely not least, because Google is so reliant still on links and amplification signals, you need to be able to have a great answer to the question, who will help amplify this and why? And not just a broad answer, but a specific answer like, oh, well, these seven websites, I know they would link to me if I did X. And then do X and then get in touch with those seven websites and get those links. Uh, I think if you follow that process, you've got a really, really solid path to get great rankings.